Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to sync up um, an ammo system or an ammo meter with the player bullet system. So whenever we fire a bullet, it's going to take away one from the ammo meter, etc., and like, you know, something like that. Alright, I'm just going to get started. So to start off, I'm going to double click the A button until everything is selected and hit X and delete. Hit 7 to go on the top view and do spacebar and then add a, um, I'm going to do a camera. Okay, oh, spacebar add camera. All right, like this. And I'm going to drag this camera up. And I'm going to hit 0 to go into our camera view. And do space bar and then add an empty in the middle of our screen. I'm going to add an empty cube. I'm going to scale it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an overlay scene or create a new scene. I'm going to call them. this new scene I'm going to call HUD or Heads Up Display. I'm going to hit 7 to go on the top view and do space bar and then add a camera. Like this. And what I'm going to do now is drag this camera up. I'm going to hit 0 to go into our camera view. And what I'm going to do now is add a text object. And this text object we're going to use to display our ammo meter. So do spacebar and then add text like this. I'm going to scale this text object down. I'm going to drag it off to one corner. And what we're going to do is go into Game Logic with Blender Game. Select your HUD scene. Hit 0 to go into our camera view. And on our text object, let's add an integer property. I'm going to call this ammo like this, and I'm going to set it at 10. All right, now that we have this, let's add a sensor, or an always sensor, to our text object. And add a mouse sensor, like this. I'm going to rename this as click, with tap selected, and I'm going to minimize this. I'm now going to add a Python controller, and connect it like this, and like this. Let's now do templates, Python, and then game logic simple. And let's delete the portion that I've highlighted right here. And hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And let's rename this script as script.py. And let's add this right here. Now that we have this, let's define our click mouse sensor. So click is going to equal controller.sensors click. And what we're going to do is underneath this, let's have own.text is going to equal. I'm going to have the word ammo like this, and then plus, and we're going to have we're going to add onto it a string version of our ammo property. So own ammo like this. So ammo plus another version or another string. So we should have this like that. What we're now going to do is have if click positive and own ammo or ammo meter is greater than zero. So if we have ammo remaining. What I'm going to do is do own.send message shots fired. So we're going to send that message. And then we're going to have own ammo is going to minus equal one. So if we hit P now and click, we can see every time I click, the ammo is going to go down by one. And once it reaches zero, it will, it will go down no further. I'm going to go back into my main scene now that we're done with this. And I'm going to right click on our camera and let's overlay this scene. So add an always sensor like this. I'm going to then do a scene actuator, add an overlay scene, and we're going to overlay the HUD. We're going to connect the HUD like this. So if we hit P now, we should be able to see we can shoot our ammo like this. But what we want to do is have it so that every time this empty receives the message shot fired, it's going to spawn a bullet. So let's add a message sensor. I'm going to rename this message sensor shot fired. And this is going to be on our empty in our main scene, by the way. I'm going to call this shot fired right here. And let's minimize this. And then let's do an add, um, add actuator edit object. I'm going to rename this as spawn objects. And I'll spawn it for an object of, like, let's say 100. And what we're going to do is connect these. But we haven't created our bullet yet. So what I'm going to do is go into layer 2 like this. So you see down here, there's these little visible layers saying click on layer 2. And let's create a bullet by doing spacebar and then add a UV sphere. I'm going to rename this UV sphere as bullets. Bullet like this. I'm going to click on the materials tab and hit new. And I'm going to make this bullet blue. So if we hit P, our bullet is blue. But let's make our bullet move forward. So add an always sensor on our bullet. And let's add a motion actuator. And let's do 0 0.5 on the positive y-axis and connect it like this. 
So if we go back into our main scene and hit zero to go into our camera view, we can right click on our empty object and in our actuator where it says add object, put bullets, and we should be able to see that no matter where we play it from, it's going to spawn that bullet like this. Every time we click, so it's now on six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And once it reaches zero, we're not, we are no longer firing bullets. But from a distance, we can see we can shoot like this as well. All right, so this has been a simple tutorial on how to um, sync up bullets and ammo meters um, with Python and the BGE. I hope you guys find this very useful. And thanks for watching, everyone.